Well, hello, friends. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm once again co-hosting Scraps to Treasures with my good friend Sherry of Turquoise Streaming. And if you're not familiar with the collaboration, I will have all the details below as well as Sherry's video for this month linked in the description. And this month, we are making bookmarks out of our scraps. Um, I made this one off camera just to have something to show you. But my idea was to use little strips because don't don't we sometimes have a lot of strips left over like from our um, paper pads like sometimes you know how they come with the little strips and I actually have um, several strips somewhere <laughs> I couldn't find them specifically for this project so I actually um, here are some like Christmas ones maybe I'll do something with this but um, what I actually did is I actually cut up some strips out of some of the scraps in my scrap box and I have a couple of scrap boxes going here one here and one here and I wove them together and I love how this came out now this is all kinds of crazy colors I know um, but I kind of brought it together by after finishing it up putting some uh, stickers and you know um, when I came across these black glittery butterflies I said oh I have to use those um, I mean it's a bright colorful bookmark but, um, you know, with Halloween coming up, which, you know, I don't do a lot with Halloween, but, you know, the black glittery butterflies uh, made me think, oh, that kind of can go with that as well. <laughs> so it's kind of a mishmash, but I love it. I did back it up onto a file folder and I'm going to go ahead and make one with you now. Um, so let's see. Okay, so I'm lining up my file folder on my mat just to keep it straight. And then I like this little strip of uh, coffee dyed paper. So I, I cut that strip. But now I'm grabbing some other strips. And basically I'm just gluing the very top to the top of the file folder. And I'm just making sure that there's a teeny little bit of space in between each strip. Like barely noticeable but just enough to give it some room. And I'm doing your basic weaving, just going over and under, over and under. And then I'm just putting a dot of glue at the ends and only um, uh, to the papers, not necessarily to the file folder, because we can always do that at the end. So just, again, simple weaving over and under, over and under. I'm cutting some of the excess, but not perfectly, because we'll clean it up at the end. And that's pretty much this part of the process. Um, Picking my papers, I'm trying to stay a little neutral with a little pop of color here and there. And um, yeah, you can pretty much just use whatever you want for your strips, right? Okay, now that I'm done weaving my strips, I'm just basically cleaning it up with my ruler and blade. And um, I love this ruler. It's nice and heavy. You get it at the Dollar Tree. Okay, the last little bit I just trimmed. And then I'm just gluing the little bits that are left on the edge there so that everything is glued down nicely. And, of course, rounding the corners. I think it makes it look more finished as well as adding a little ink all around. Um, I would have preferred to be to sew it, but I don't have my sewing machine handy right now. So now I'm just putting a little hole at the top and a little ribbon for my ribbon scraps as well. And I just made a little short tab on the top. So I put a little bit of glue on there and on to a little sentiment. So let's go ahead. Even though this is more neutral and this has like some lighter colors, I, I still really like it. And it's a nice sentiment for a uh, bookmark, I think. Now this does have a little uh, added element up here, like a dimensional piece. Um, which for a bookmark, I would prefer to keep it flat, but it's not too bad. So there we go. And that is my Scraps to Treasures project for this month of September. You making bookmarks out of our scraps. And um, I love it. I love using up these little strips of, or pieces, you know, strips of um, scrap paper that 
we always seem to <laughs> have left over, right? So thank you so much for watching. Definitely check out Sherry's video, which will be linked below. And it's not too late to join us. Uh, if you have made a project or would like to make a project, just use the hashtag Scraps to Treasures, and we would love to see what you make with your scraps. Thank you again for watching and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.